and welcome back to another episode of RX Real. Today we are here with one of my best friends. He's going to tell us a little bit about his dual degree program that he's currently enrolled in. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm Jamie. Um, I'm a P2 and I'm currently doing a PharmD with a Master's in Public Health. So why did you choose your Master's in Public Health dual degree program? Um, the main thing, the main reason I chose it was because we're constantly being told that the world of pharmacy is saturated and you've got to look for some way to differentiate yourself. So I started looking and um, the Masters of Public Health really caught my attention because it just differentiates me from the 130 other people that are currently assuming, pursuing a PharmD in my class. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think that your MPH will help you in your career? Um, well hopefully it helps me get a residency, um, but it's teaching me to focus more on populations versus the individual patient because, for instance, diabetes and hypertension is one thing that I'm really um, interested in. Being from the South, we like our food. So you either get the sugars or the high blood pressure. So it's teaching me to look at populations as a whole versus the individual. You still want to be patient-centered, but you also want to realize that maybe there's a connection between a larger group of people. So what did the application process look like for the MPH program? So similar to the um, PharmD, um, you had to complete a SOFUS application online. It was, um, if you're already a student at Mercer, you get a discounted rate instead of being $175, you only had to pay 50. Um, interview process and then you find out if you've been accepted to the program. And did you do this before you started school or after you had already began the PharmD program? Um, I had one teacher tell me that the ultimate goal was to become a pharmacist. Focus on that first. So I went through my first semester of pharmacy school to see how everything was and see if I could actually handle another degree program. And I started at my second semester in school. So what does your schedule look like compared to a typical PharmD student? Okay, so our P1 year we had classes in the morning. Um, you would have to stay after school maybe two afternoons a week. I actually stayed after school I had two night classes from six to nine, two nights a week, um, and then I also did one online class. So it's a little bit more hectic. You got to be able to balance your schedule a little bit more. Um, I'm actually looking forward to our P2 year because, like y'all said the other day about electives, mm -hmm. um, I don't have to take any pharmacy school electives because my MPH classes will count as my electives for pharmacy school. Okay. And how long is it going to take you from start to finish to finish the Masters of Public Health program? It's almost two years. Um, and that's taking a few summer classes. I, I didn't take any this summer because I wanted to enjoy it, but um, it's about 24, 24 months. Um, I'm just excited to get done. And what would be something that would be really important for someone who's considering this dual degree program? Do you have any advice for them, um, people who are thinking about trying to pursue PharmD with an MPH? Yeah, it's like I said earlier, a PharmD is your ultimate goal. That's your number one goal. Make sure that you've got great time management skills. I know you and Alex have talked about that a lot. Um, make sure that you're willing to not have a social life. Um, I had to, I lived off the DVR because I was missing all my shows because I was at school taking classes. But um, just sit there, think about it maybe wait your first semester or even your first year. That's one good thing about our dual programs is you don't have to start it right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You can wait a year, finish up, see what you want to do, see if it's something that interests you, and then decide if you want to do it. So um, meet with the advisors, check out the different options, and make sure that you can handle an even larger workload than pharmacy school is going to give you. What has been one of your favorite things about the dual degree program so far? Um, meeting people from different school. Um, I'll be honest with you, when you're at pharmacy school you just, we socialize but then you forget that there's six other schools on campus mm -hmm. so um, I've met a lot of people in the public health, I've met some people that work at the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and that's been really really interesting because they're developing vaccines and they're, I mean it's just interesting stuff that we actually apply, they're the people behind the scenes making it work. Um, so mainly the people. And what's the hardest thing? The staying in, in school till 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. um, especially if we have an 8 o'clock class. I'm usually there from 8 to, to 9 that night, and then we got to get right back up for 8 o'clock class on Wednesday. The time commitment yes. is yes. exhausting. 
Um, okay, well thank you so much for talking to us and explaining a little bit about what your life looks like as a dual degree program student. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? No, thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.